Testing. <laughs> A very good afternoon to Dr. Ko Pu Kun, Minister of State, Ministry of Trade and Industry and National Development. Distinguished guests, the Shatek family, ladies and gentlemen. I am Samuel Kwan from the April 2015 class of Diploma in Culinary Skills. I must first confess that I am not a confident speaker. But it is a great honor for me to be here today giving this speech on behalf of my fellow graduates. And I shall do it with the true Shatek spirit. I am not sure about my fellow graduates seated here today, but I have never thought Shatek was a good school. Shatek is a four-story building hidden away in the Bukit Batok Industry Park. There is no bus stop with sheltered walkway to its doorstep or shuttle buses to ferry students from the nearest bus interchange on rainy days. We do not have a gym, a basketball court, or a field we can kick soccer in. We exercise by climbing stairs since there is no lift. We also do not have a trendy student's cafe to chill out at, or even a proper school canteen. <laughs> we did have our own restaurant, however, the former recipes at the Treasury, where our trainers worked us to the bone. One luxury we did have was our swimming pool. We have three of them, in fact. The competition pool, the training pool, and even a children's pool. All of which we generously shared with the residents of Bukit Bato and the general public. But these are not the reasons why Shatek is not a good school. Shatek stretched us to breaking point with long hours scrubbing the sinks or pol polishing the glass goblets which they call training. <laughs> Attendance and punctuality must be 100%. We were told being on time is not good enough. We must be ahead of time. The timetable was crazy enough from 8.30 to 5.30, Mondays to Fridays, and yet they gave us progress tests and projects to keep us working hard after school hours. This, they call time management. <laughs> On weekends, they volunteered us for the SEA Games, F1, and one event after another. They gave us no peace even during our hard-earned term breaks. <laughs> Sending us to the hospi Hospitality Summit, Foods Hotel Asia, World Skills, and a host of other competitions, which are otherwise known as opportunities. <laughs> Shatek is not a good school because Shatek is a great school. Good schools teach, but great schools creates learning. Learning in Shatek is always real and practical, although sometimes brutal. Our trainers will not spoon-feed us, but instead create actual environments and contexts for us to find our own solutions. Our trainers are our pillars of support, our advisors, our friends. There is always budget for additional ingredients no matter how many mistakes we make during our competition trainings. When need be, our trainers will create such a budget from their own pockets. The same trainers who scream at us for grease stains on the stove and missing cutleries on the table also told us it's all right when we burn our dish or drop our trays. It's okay, don't panic. Pick it up and just carry on. We may not have leaves and gyms, but we always have purpose and we have dreams. Competition formed the main highlights of my time at Shatek. 
I had the privilege of representing the school at the International Young Chef Competition, Korea 2013, and Food Hotel Asia 2014, among many others. As Team Shatek, we win some, we lose some. But as our trainers taught us, Shatek always played fair. In June 2014, Shatek put me on a flight to Spain on a five-month long Spanish gastronomy training program. I was able to get first-hand experience of ingredients and techniques I have previously only seen on Food Network channel. I acquired knowledge and friends which I get to keep for life. At the end of the program, I faced off against 11 other finalists from the United States, Switzerland, Poland, Argentina, Ireland, Slovenia, South Africa, Japan, and India in the sixth international tapas competition. I finished fifth place. This year, my record is outdone by my good friend, Jin Xiang, who recently clinched the championship title in the seventh international tapas competition with his tapas creation three in one. Felicidades, Jin Xiang. Usted ha hecho la escuela agulosos y estamos agulosos de ti. Congratulations, Jin Xiang. You have done the school proud and we are proud of you. As I prepared this speech, I realized I had never understood what passion truly is until my journey with Shatek is almost at an end. Passion is peeling a thousand potatoes, beating a thousand eggs, folding a thousand napkins, and still believing there is nothing else in the world you would rather do. That is the passion Shatek inspired in us. To the industry CEOs, GMs, HRs, and business owners who are here today, I wish to impress upon you that the Shatek graduate is special. The Shatek graduate will appreciate your good equipment and handle them with care and respect. The Shatek receptionist will readily stand in for your housekeeper who is ill, clean up a dozen rooms and return to your desk, front desk with a hair bun still immaculate. The Shatek chef will find a way to operate your kitchen even when the stoves wouldn't start and the sinks are choked. But I, almost, I must also caution you that the Shatek graduate is fiercely ambitious. Even as you interview the Shatek graduate for the first time, he or she is already charting the quickest path to reach your position and then to surpass you. <laughs> this is definitely not arrogance. You only have to count the number of Shatek graduates in top management positions currently to know I speak the truth. Our alumnus speaker today, Mr. Hamil Singh, President and CEO of Compass Hospitality Group, is one such example. At this point, I wish to thank Chef Gerald, Chef Dennis, Chef Nicholas, Chef Samson, Chef Tommy, uh, Chef Edmund and Chef KK and the Department of Culinary Studies who helped me rediscover myself and my passion for the culinary arts. Without you, I wouldn't even know I am capable of coming this far. To the best class ever, DCS0415U, thank you for the special bond we share, for being game enough to try anything and everything for all the times we got in and out of trouble, for being both wonderful and awful at the same time. One day we shall go paintballing and go cutting again. Until then, be successful. I also thank my boss, Chief Executive Officer of Amara Singapore, Mr. Albert Teo. Thank you, Mr. Teo, for the confidence and encouragement you always have for me. I shall not disappoint you and shall look forward for an exciting career with Amar. I thank my parents, mom and dad. You are the ones who matter the most in my life. 
Thank you for all the support and I am sorry if I have disappointed you in any way. I wish to tell you that you both raised a fine young man and I am awfully, awfully proud to be your son. I know every graduate here today has someone in mind to thank for his or her achievement today. I would like to invite all my fellow graduates to stand and join me in a round of applause for all the people who have made today possible for us. Thank you, graduates. Shatek's core values goes by the five letters I, E, A, C, and T. After today, as we move on to higher learning or new careers, the five letters may take on different meanings for us. I for innovation may become integrity. E for excellence may become empathy. A for attitude may become assurance. C for creativity may become commitment. And T for teamwork may become trustworthiness. But the letter S will always be Shatek. Our Shatek spirit, our Shatek spark. Thank you.